Hi guys, welcome to our October issue. Um, our cover models for this month is Nini Washera and her daughter. Um, Nini has such a beautiful story and if you really um, want to get to know more about her, um, our magazine is in all the major supermarkets and also we have an e-paper and um, she's telling us about her story. So today we're just going to be talking to her to just tell us more about herself probably the things that we didn't catch in the magazine. Kari Busana. Thank you so good much. Good to have you. Thank you Grace very much. our cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Your, your country queen. Yes. That was a, a very nice series. Uh, nice? Under, uh, nice is an understatement. Great. Um, a, a very good series. I think so many Kenyans didn't expect but mm. I think, because like from what I read a lot, is that many from many from many comments, um, many guys didn't expect that. I don't know if that's a good thing or like guys were surprised, um, which is a good thing I think. Um, so just tell us how how did that the making or your role in Country Queen make you feel? Um, yeah, in your acting career. I say it's actually the best or my favorite role that okay. I've played to date but it's I think it's more than just the character Vivian it was all the aspects of production from this is you know the, the crew we worked to the people I've worked with on and off for so many years yeah and we had a wonderful production team um, there was two producers from Germany and one local producer Kamau Wadongo and I just felt like they had grounded themselves in in every aspect of like making our lives easy, making sure that we had what we needed, making sure the scripts were out on time, casting a very, very amazing cast of actors. So that in itself was such, such a special opportunity for me because I hadn't worked since on a series mm -hmm. since before COVID. Okay. So it felt like a reunion yeah. with all these people who I hadn't seen in so many years. And my character, Vivian, was like, bad so bad she's good she's so Mrs. delicious Mrs. Mrs. Sibala Vivian Sibala yeah. yes and she it thrilled me because I felt like um, the way that they shot it the amount of time they gave us to prepare for the character prepare for our scenes gave me enough time to break down my character in a way that I could layer her yeah so she's not just a bad woman who just wants to go out and get this village she's a woman who's desperate to protect her wealth mm -hmm. Sorry, she's a woman who's desperate to make sure that she's never in, never loses her power, never in the control of any man. Yeah. Because she's had a very bad experience with men in the past or with losing control in the past. And I loved playing her. I loved the office, the corporate world. I, I've never been a part of it. Is it something, her role, yeah. your role, is it something you would relate with? In real Completely, life? because yeah? she's a she's a strong woman and she's driven by power mm -hmm. and i'm not greedy but i know what like going towards a goal feels yeah. like and i know how all your effort and all your energy can be harnessed towards reaching a goal and it, she was very powerful in the sense that this was a territory that was mainly male dominated yeah. and she dominated the industry and dominated um the workplace and is even willing to lie and to steal and to be as crooked as possible just to maintain her status quo and how many times have we done that lied about mm -hmm. who we are or our state of affairs or yeah. you're going to restaurants you can't afford yeah. you drive a car that you're paying a loan on and you can't afford mm -hmm. so that pretentious aspect of who she wanted to be or needed to be of course it sits with a lot of us um middle upper class wannabe kenyans yeah yeah <laughs> who are reaching for something we can't really afford that's true. Yeah. All right. Um, how are you able to put up with a to act out a role or a personality that's not you? It's not. It's not pretending to be. No, it's that not. You're not. No, yeah? because acting is living truthfully under yeah. imaginary circumstances, okay. and you know, all the emotions of all the people in all the world exist within you, exist within me. Mm. All the experiences of all the human beings in the world exists within each and every one of us yeah so there's nothing that's entirely and no one that's entirely not like me okay and i'm not an, i'm not entirely not like anyone else do you understand mm. we're all unique 
but our human experience is shared energetically. Yeah. So that if this, like, you know, if there's trauma in, in, uh, in, in your lifeline and it came from your great grandparents, it can trickle down until the, my yeah. generation, yeah. right? Yeah. So every experience mm -hmm. is available and all you have to do is find the thing that it is that your character wants the most. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, and then okay. you play it like that. You yeah. go after everything that your character wants. So you as a human being or me as a human being, I've all, I know what want is, I know what desire is, I know what it is to need to be loved or to want to be loved. I know what it is to want power. So I either, um, I, I can maximize those elements and place them and use them in different characters, I or I can minimize them. <laughs> yes, because you know what it yeah. is to be violent. Even okay. you must have fought at one point in your life, or yeah. you must have had yeah, the idea, I want to kill you. Oh my God. <laughs> like you're so mad yeah. at someone, you feel like, yeah, you feel like you're that's kind of violence. Yeah. So you now you would escalate you it. it out, you yeah. escalate, you know what it is to be angry. Mm. You escalate the amount of anger you have. So you have to put your real self. Feelings. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes, it is. That's what makes character so unique. It's like, if um, Mkamze Mwatela played Vivian Sibala, yeah. she would have a completely different tone, okay. it would, but she could play it and she would play it very well. So then what does it mean for like, uh, they prefer, for example, Nini Washera to put her in this particular role? Or... Um, how do they else? select? Yeah, how do they select this person who suits or will <coughs> best play this role best? <laughs> I think what happens is when the text is on the paper, mm. it's just text on the paper and yeah. you can have all these um like fantasies about what you want your character to be like but when a, an actress takes a script and then puts elements of themselves into the dialogue into the energy into the performance yeah. when she comes for an audition i always feel like it's because we surprise okay. people i don't think they come saying this is a role for nini washera no, they okay. come into the audition okay. space and they're open and they're like they like this version they also like this version but damn we love that version mm. so okay. it's who you present, okay. so all of us could present Vivian Sebala, but then they like my performance or my presentation. That's, uh, yeah. That's how they make the selection. Okay. Did you ever dream of um, being working in, a, in corporate or this has always been like, no? <laughs> but I never liked the suits and I never liked the heels and I never liked the, I always felt like they were so like boxed even when oh, I was okay. young. It was really, amazing because when you're a kid and your cousin is going to work and you're yeah. like wow and she's doing her makeup but then when she puts on those clothes like yeah. Waboy was my cousin who would go to work and she was working in the corporate world and i was really young i always feel like the clothes make her like stiff and so she's not free to like yeah. be herself and i always felt that that would restrict me from just being you from being me <laughs> <laughs> okay um i was going to ask a question <laughs> So we will have to catch this one. Um, oh my God, what did I want to ask you? Oh yeah, when you're when you're not um, when you're not acting, what are you doing? Sleeping, eating, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean in terms of work uh, or like yeah, to keep myself work, busy? To keep yourself busy. There's many things. I train actors. Um, I don't know, once a week or every Saturday, most Saturdays in the month. You said you have an academy? I don't have, have an academy. Okay. I, I train actors at the Kenyan, I'm not even going to say the venue. Okay. I train Kenyans at a certain venue, Kenyan mm -hmm. actors at a certain venue every Saturday. But my dream is to open up an acting academy. Okay. That's an aspiration I have. And it could happen when I'm 60, it could happen now. I don't care, I just want a space where actors can come and play and learn different techniques and also a place where if you don't have work, then you have, you can go there and you can play on scenes and yeah. you can meet other actors and you can keep your craft um, alive. That's one of my dreams. But I also, um, I'm a casting director. So when mm. movies or series or television commercials need actors, I find the actors for those shows. Okay. I also train actors on set, on shows. Um, so if a producer has an actor and they're not, or a director and they're not happy with the way that they're, you know, um, developed, they've developed this character, maybe they're not 
showcasing a certain element, like they don't have presence or mm. they don't know how to be a bully, um, then I come in and I help with that. So okay. an actor's coach on set. Yeah. I also keep bees. I'm a beekeeper. Oh, you're a beekeeper. Mm. I have 10 hives. Please give us some honey. I will give you. You know, it's bought every time I have this. It's bought like, the minute I say I have honey, it's bought yeah. instantly. Wow. And it's creamy honey. It's a mix of Wabugia Ugandenses and um, Acacias and Thloflea, which creates this amazing gold, buttery honey. Did you know those kind of things? Those are trees. Oh, they're trees. Acacia and <laughs> Wabugia, those are trees. <laughs> Okay. Yes. And I'm also I also plant trees. I plant indigenous oh, nice. trees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um hmm. okay. Interesting facts about me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um are you in a relationship? No. 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 Is it on purpose? Yes. Okay. I haven't been in, in a relationship since twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. I haven't been in a relationship since twenty fifteen. Okay. Um, I realized that every time I got involved, yeah. it would take my attention away from me, okay. my work, and my daughter. Mm -hmm. And every time it, it ended up ending or when we're breaking up, you know, when it was never like, I never ha I've never had a reconciliatory breakup or, a, or an amicable breakup. It's always one of those things that leaves one of us hurt. Either the guy hurt or okay. me hurt. Yeah. And I would take too much time to recover. And my daughter would be the one who was with a hurting mother. Yeah. So in my last relationship, he cheated on me with um, three women who I was working with. I mean, worked in the same office as I do. And I was in Lagos at the time. And it really, it ripped me apart because I'd been with him for five years. Mm -hmm. And the energy it took to recover from that. I decided to f just finish raising my daughter. And once I was done raising her, then I could think about having a relationship. But I've been single for so long now. I do get lonely every once in a while. I'm like, oh, it would be nice to be held. or It would be nice for someone to just kiss me and tell me how much they love me. But the element of a relationship, I feel, always takes me away from myself yeah. and the things that I love. So it's on purpose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. What is your advice to young girls? Don't get pregnant young. <laughs> yeah, it's serious. I mean, it's really hard. I, ha I love that my daughter is 21 years old now and we have such a, an amazing relationship. But it was hard. It was hard on me mentally. It was really, hard on, yeah. on my career as well. I, I always felt like I, I could never pick up as fast as I wanted mm. to. Um, follow your dreams. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. A lot of the times people don't know what it is to dream your dream. So people derail you from your dream because it doesn't seem feasible. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean you want to be an actor? That's not a career. But what you see is not what your dad sees or what your mom sees. So your dream is your dream and we're all beautifully and wonderfully made. Yeah. So that, I always feel like God put that inside you. God put those <laughs> dreams inside you. Don't let anyone take your dreams away from you. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> we're concluding. So, last question. How, how is it that you do not eat meat? How? Oh. How do you live without meat? <laughs> ah, meat is so heavy on your digestive system. It takes eight days to digest. Oh my God. It creates acid buildup in your joints. Oh my God. It just makes your body like lethargic. <laughs> it's a very no. acidic um ingredient in your bloodstream so then you're more prone to diseases because an acidic body is more prone to disease mm. what happens when you get on a vegetarian diet is you alkalinize your body meaning that you put your body in a state where it's hard to get a disease or it's almost impossible for disease to grow and thrive mm -hmm. so being a vegetarian for me I, I have I backslide like I was vegetarian for six years. Mm -hmm. Then during COVID, because I went to live in Shags, I started eating meat again. But then I could feel the heaviness in my body and the mm. trying to work out yeah. is hard and I'm not as energetic. And when I become a vegetarian, I'm always like, damn, <laughs> this is the diet for a human being. But it's actually not a human mm. being's meat isn't a human being's diet. It's not for humans to consume meat. Who is supposed to consume meat? Animals who eat meat. <laughs> predators and <laughs> carnivores and we're not carnivores we're herbivores we're supposed to eat <laughs> we're supposed to eat grains we're supposed to eat vegetables and fresh fruits and vegetables if you try out a vegetarian diet even for one week you will mm. see the difference in your in how in your body and your skin 
and in your energy levels as well. So you don't take anything um, from animal? Okay. No, I do. I love cheese. Yeah. I just had a pizza. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love cheese okay. and I love milk, but I'm doing a detox right now mm. for two months that has me off okay. animal products. So I just had a cheat day with a pizza. It's, all, it's allowed. One day is allowed. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, it's Sunday calories don't count. That's yeah, I like that. Sunday calories don't count. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that was Nini Washera, award-winning actress. Make sure you um, watch her uh, on Netflix, Country Queen. Um, she is she plays the role Mrs. Sibala. You don't want to miss that. So also make sure you grab a copy of the October issue. We have such inspiring stories and also, um, yeah, such inspiring stories and a lot to learn from um, on our e-paper platform and also in all the retail stores like we said so yeah catch us there <laughs> hi i'm nini washera watch me on netflix on a show called country queen but don't forget to grab yourself this october issue of parents magazine available in all retail stores across kenya my story is in there <laughs>